So we had an absolute bloodbath during Wednesday's session. A lot of the losses that we printed yesterday were made back for the majority of the session as we saw the markets rally back on up and close relatively unchanged. That was as at Tuesday day session and you can see the Nasdaq down 330 points, a long day dark Morabozu candlestick. The Nasdaq itself is now down, I believe, 12 and a half percent from its late August high. So we have officially entered that of a correction. A correction is deemed to have occurred or at least occurring between 10 and 20 percent from its recent highs or from a high point. So here we are, we're in a correction in the NASDAQ. We have participated in some of this down to 7,520. We haven't caught all of it, but what is most important right now is that we are not holding long. We are not in any long trades and we're simply just watching this market eventually exhaust itself to the downside upon which we are going to jump in and begin entering into a bunch of long positions. Now, a disclaimer, first of all, tomorrow is a very important day for us, a very busy day for us. We do have a lot of our top 12 companies on the left-hand side of my screen reporting earnings. So again, largely for us, and we spoke about this over the weekend, it was very good that they did overlap, overlap between that of earnings and this last sort of sell-off wave that we were and have been expecting to take place in the equity markets today. Again, being that of an absolute bloodbath. The Nasdaq moving into a correctional uh, type of period. Here we have the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 608 points. Overall, from its early October high, we are down now 8%. You can see another long day Morabozu candlestick coming very firmly back into this green rectangular box of support. We tagged it yesterday being Tuesday. And again, we're simply sitting on our hands, waiting for earnings season to move beyond us, or at least our top 12 individual trade list. So again, we're not really all that active at the moment, and it's a really powerful position to be in. One, simply because we're not sitting here shaking, thinking that we need to liquidate our longs, nor are we really aggressively trying to jump into new shorts. We're just waiting for this bottom to essentially shape up, upon which we can slowly begin jumping into market directional positions and also individual companies in our top 12 list. But again, an ugly looking candlestick down over 600 points today on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Here is the chart of the S&P 500. This is starting to make a lot more sense to me. I was surprised as to why the S&P 500 was sort of beginning to stabilize around 2,775. It really wasn't making all that much sense. We were uh, essentially in no man's land. There wasn't really any support nor any resistance to come on back up into. We started calling this that of a bear flag. We'll fast forward a couple of days or we'll rewind from where we currently are. And you can see that we have very clearly broken out of that little continuational pattern down below 2,700. We're closing at 2,656, an extremely bearish day down 84, very close to 85 points. The S&P 500 from its late October, sorry, early October, late August high is now down over 9%. So we still have the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 yet to enter into that of a technical market correction, that being more than a 10% retracement. We've got the NASDAQ, which again has led the stocks up. It is now flipped and it's now leading the stocks down, this being down over 12% from its recent um, all-time high over the past couple of months. So again, tomorrow, a very busy day for us uh, when it comes to our top 12 individual trade list. Let me just go through and recap what we have reporting. We've got Amazon reporting tomorrow. That is going to be a market mover. We had Boeing Airlines today, or I believe it is coming out in a couple of moments time. We have Baidu set to release tomorrow. Caterpillar was yesterday. So you can see the big gap down here. We've got a continuation which has occurred during today's session. However, very similar to the discussion that we have had on IBM, I think there is going to be tremendous opportunity on this moving forward. Just let this bottom out with the markets. Again, volatility is going to persist as we move through earnings, but an absolute bloodbath on Caterpillar. We began shorting this all the way up at 151.49 and we had a secondary re-entry at 149.60 to the downside. We'd ha we hit our target, pardon me, in three sessions down at 140.52. We were very happy about that, but we were sort of um, relatively limited as to what we could do with earnings coming up so soon. But it's very clear, it's moving to the downside. We have presented a gap which we'll need to fill, but again, that is no reason to go bullish 
on Caterpillar at this particular time. We've got COP set to report tomorrow. Again, should be another market mover. CVX is not until next week. We've got Google. Surprise, surprise. That is going to be a market mover. I think we've got fireworks on the cards for tomorrow, by the way. IBM has already reported. I've spoken about this in detail in pro. We've got a really nice target on this stock to the downside. Clearly not there yet. However, if we see this selling linger or remain on the market indices, that should help push IBM lower. And again, IBM is going to fit into the category of that Caterpillar trade moving forward, but it's simply not ready yet. Had a dashed line on Netflix. This means that we haven't taken the trade at 314.99 on Netflix. Netflix in the past has been tremendously uh, profitable for us. Such shorts or at least longs above 342. 373 up to 399, the psychological round number. We then had a two day trade from 350 down to 333 before going long at 328 up to 366. And really, since this period in time, we haven't really been able to do all that much with Netflix. Now, this is looking like a very strong reversal pattern. It seems to me right now that we're coming all the way back down to our secondary target at $283.80. However, Given that we have earnings tomorrow and what is most likely going to be another extremely volatile day, we have decided to sit out of Netflix. And because of that, although technically it made sense, it doesn't really bother me whatsoever that we haven't picked up about $14 of intrinsic value down to where it closed today at 301 from the entry here. So I haven't received any emails from anyone talking about that, which is good. And lastly, we have Tesla. Tesla's not set to report until the final trading day. In the month of October, it is still ping-ponging back and forth, but we do have earnings. Um, again, for the last session over here, don't pay attention to this. Pay attention to this vertical line on my screen. So again, it's good when you're not vested in the market, especially when it's going through or at least entering into correctional times. Um, a lot of volatility, a lot of bearishness has come back into the market and now it becomes, well, are we going to hold support or are we going to push on down a little bit lower upon which our same strategy is still going to remain? All right, so let's go into us as at Wednesday. Look forward to seeing what the market does tomorrow. I'll be back with you later in the week. If not, I will see you in pro. That is on Saturday. All the best, everyone. Farewell.